We picked this location, which is a military airplane hangar, because we needed a lot of space. Our plan was to shoot full-size versions of the Black Pearl and the Flying Dutchman as they battle each other. We couldn't bring the actual boats from where we last shot them in the Bahamas, so we decided to build them here. Since our film schedule is never carved from stone, we set up this big blue screen so we could film on the Black Pearl while we're still finishing up building the Flying Dutchman. To the right, you'll see long bundles of black wires beginning to grow on the walls. Our electrician team called these waterfalls because that's what they look like. There's over 750 cables in each one and they connect all of the space lights on top with a huge dimmer system below. This is something you rarely see. We decided the best way to simulate the rocking of the ocean was to have the ships attached to two gimbals instead of one. That's what the guys are working on now, the gimbal towers. The Flying Dutchman is moving toward us now. We use an ingenious system of air bearings, which are inflatable bags that vent compressed air. Think of it like a giant air hockey table, same principle. Now we're back to our original angle. But as you can see, the Black Pearl and the Flying Dutchman have moved to what will be their final positions. We're now gonna take a closer look at the two ships as they're now prepped for the start of filming. You can now see the gimbal towers being moved into position beneath the ships. The blue screen curtains will soon be carefully placed. They're pushed back for now, but at any time they can be moved to encircle one or both of the ships. This is the first movement test of the Black Pearl on its gimbals. Over the next few days, the crew will conduct numerous safety tests before we begin filming. Now we're testing the enormous rain system. Most rain scenes are done in tanks, so it was a huge challenge to move all the excess water from the stage floor back into the recirculating system. The blue screen is now drawn over the Black Pearl as a filmmaker start the first day of principal photography. You can see the other crew members are still hard at work finishing up the Flying Dutchman. From this wide angle, we can see just how big the Palmdale stage is and why we needed so much blue screen to cover it. This is a great view of the two ships together. We can see the camera cranes and the rain system working take after take. Stunt players are swinging between the ships, while others are engaged in carefully choreographed sword fights on deck. Here we have a good angle to view the length of the Black Pearl. The Flying Dutchman has been moved out of the way and a blue screen platform has been moved in its place. Having an invisible Flying Dutchman gives the special effects team at ILM more freedom to control the physical distance between the two ships. Lighting a stage this big provides its own set of challenges. Take a look at the incredible lighting grid our team set up. Each of these lights is controlled by a dimmer switch so we could vary the intensity. It was designed to give the sense of an enormous sky with storm clouds passing overhead. From this angle, you can see the crews preparing to shoot the Tiadama crab sequence. Three large nets full of blue play balls are raised into position over the Black Pearl. Each one of these balls will later be turned into a crab by ILM. This is another good view of our two ships together. Both ships are rocking on their gimbals to simulate the ocean swells. The angle also lets you see how we use the blue screen to curtain off and separate the ships as needed. Here's a good look at how the blue screen can completely surround one ship. You can also see the tremendous detail that went into matching this Flying Dutchman with the one we used in the Bahamas. This angle really shows the gimbals at work on the Flying Dutchman. Everything's up and running here. Rain, live cannon fire, and all our stunt players in action. You can also see the space lights working to simulate the effect of storm clouds passing overhead.
Finally, we see a master shot between the two ships at the height of battle. Notice the stunt players swinging from ship to ship. Not even live cannon fire, torrential rain, or armed pirates cause them to miss their marks. Perhaps you notice that there are no pads beneath the two ships. That's because our amazing stunt players were carefully cabled to their ropes.